Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So in this video I'll attempt to predict if a stock is undervalued or not using machine learning. Right now I'm currently on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. But if you're going to code along with me, then go ahead and click on file and click on new notebook where a new tab will open up for you and then eventually a new cell will open up for you. And so we see the new cell is here. But before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from the channel, hit that bell notification. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do in this cell is I'm going to put in some comments kind of describing what I'm going to be doing in the cell. So here I'm going to import the necessary libraries. So I'm going to import pandas as pd and then from sklearn.ensemble I'm going to import random forest classifier also from sklearn but this time dot metrics I'm going to import accuracy underscore score and then last but most certainly not least from sklearn dot model underscore selection I'm going to import train underscore test underscore split okay so now I'm going to click this button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes also just so you all know you can get the code or the data set or just support the channel on patreon at patreon.com slash computer science and I will leave a link for that in the description below also, it looks like everything checks out. So everything looks good for this cell. So let's go ahead and click this code button in the top left and create a new cell. Now in this cell, I plan on loading the data. So I have a video showing you how you can mathematically determine if a stock is undervalued or not and kind of create your own data set. And I will leave a link for that in the description as well. And I may also leave a link to that as a card on this video but for now go ahead and click on this file icon and then this upload icon and I'm going to upload this under overvalued stocks for ML all right and I get a small warning I'm just going to click OK and now we can see the CSV file that I just now uploaded so I'm going to click these three dots I'm going to click rename file and I'm just going to call it data CSV to keep it simple okay and now I've successfully renamed the file so I'm going to X out of this pane and then I'm going to create a variable called data and I'm going to set it equal to pd dot read underscore CSV and now I'm going to put in the name of the file which was called data dot CSV and I want to show the data file all right so I'm just going to print data or maybe I will just type data here and let's run this okay so now we can see this file it contains 104 rows of data and eight columns those columns are the tickers so we have the ticker symbol for each stock then we have a column for PE ratio uh, sorry PE ratio then current price earnings per share, fair market value, over under value, value, and value percentage. Okay, and the idea for this video is to take some of these columns and determine if we can tell if a stock is undervalued or not. So if it's not undervalued, then it will be fair or overvalued okay all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell and now in this cell I want to split the data into features or X and target or Y data sets all right so I'm going to create a variable called features and we'll set it equal to data dot I lock and I want all of the rows so I'm going to put a colon here to get all the rows from data 
and then I want only the columns from column one up to but not including column four and I'm going to type dot values so what do I mean by this what's column one and what do I mean by up to column four well if we look at the data set tickers would be column zero and column one would actually be PE ratio all right column two would be current price column three would be earnings per share and column four will be fair market value however I said up to four but not including four so we're only getting these three columns all right the PE ratio the current price and the earnings per share at least for the features data set all right next let's go ahead and create a variable called target for the target data set and set target equal to data dot I lock and I want all of the rows and then I only want column number six and then of course I have to put dot values here so which one is column number six well let's count so we have column zero column one column two column three column four column five column six is that value column which tells us if the stock is undervalued or not which means fair or overvalued again okay so let's go ahead and run this and everything looks good I'm going to create a new cell and now in this cell I'm going to split the data into 80% training and 20% testing data sets okay so I'm going to create a few variables I'm going to create features underscore train and features underscore test and then target underscore train and target underscore test and I'm going to set this equal to train underscore test underscore split and I'm going to input the features data set and the target data set and I'm going to give this a test size so the test size will be equal to 0 0.2 which is the 20 percent that I was looking for right and so that means that the training data set is 80 percent okay because you have 1 minus 0.2 all right so let's go ahead and let's run this it looks good let's create a new cell all right now in this cell I'm going to create the model and I'm going to train it so here I'm going to put create create and train the model so I'm going to create a variable called model and I'm going to set it equal to random forest classifier all right and I need to input the number of estimators so that's n underscore estimators and I'm going to set it equal to 100 and then I'm going to give this a random state so I'm going to type random underscore state and set it equal to zero for now so the random state is used to ensure that the results of this code are reproducible and deterministic so if we don't use a seed then it'll be different each time okay so next now that I've created this model I'm going to train the model so I'm just going to type model dot fit and fit is another name for train and then I'm going to input the features underscore train data set and of course the the target underscore train data set okay so that the model can can start training on those data sets so let's go ahead and run this cell all right so everything looks good I'm going to create a new cell all right so now we've created our model and we've trained it so let's predict the values aka if a stock is undervalued or not so I'm gonna create a variable called prediction underscore train to get the predictions on the training data set and I'm gonna set it equal to model dot predict and I'm going to input the features underscore train data set okay next I'm going to create another variable called prediction underscore test and set it equal to model dot predict and I want to input the feature underscore test data set 
So this will contain the model's predictions on the test data. Okay. And that's features within S. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this. Good. Let's create a new cell. All right. Now in this cell, I want to calculate the accuracy of the model after training the data on the training data set. So I'm going to create a variable called accuracy underscore train and I'm going to set it equal to accuracy underscore score and I'm going to input the target underscore train data set and the prediction underscore train. All right, and I'm going to put a print statement here. So I'm going to print accuracy of the model on the training data set and put a colon. And then I'm going to put the accuracy underscore train. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, so the accuracy of the model on the training data set is 100%. Let's create a new cell. I'm going to just highlight all of this, copy it using control C, and then come down here and paste it using control V, and then just change a few things. So this time I'm going to calculate the accuracy of the model after testing the data. So uh, we are now testing the data on the test data set. Okay, so I'm going to call this accuracy underscore test, and I'm going to set it equal to accuracy underscore score, but this time I'm going to put in the target underscore test data set, and I'm going to put in the prediction underscore test data set. Okay, and now I'm going to change this print statement to say the accuracy of the model on the test data set. And then we're going to put accuracy underscore test instead of accuracy underscore train. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And we see the accuracy of the model on the test data set is about 95% or 0.9523809. I think you get it. All right, so about 95%. So let's create a new cell and let's show the model's predictions and the actual values from the test data set. Okay, so I'm going to print models predictions on the test data set. And so we're going to put prediction underscore test. And then I'm going to print the actual values. So I'm going to put actual values from from the test data set okay and I'm going to put target underscore test here all right so now we can compare the two so let's go ahead and run this and we can see that our models prediction on the test set thought that the the first stock here was undervalued and then from the actual values test data set it thought the same I'm sorry it didn't think it was the same it that's what it was showing in the data set was undervalued uh, here the model thought that the second stock was undervalued and indeed it was in the actual data it was undervalued and so on and so forth so you can see and compare the two here all right so let's go ahead and create one more cell and now in this cell I want to show an example of how you can use this model for other stocks given their features okay so I'm going to print model dot predict and then left and right parentheses and then two square brackets, two left square brackets, and then two right 
square brackets. All right, so now in here, we're going to input our three features. So I can input, let's take a look at the data. If I go back up here, let's say I can find, let's just take one of these. We're going to take CRM as an example. So I'm going to input this 557.68. So let me come down here, put in 557.68 and then 211.9. I'm just going to highlight this. I'm just going to copy using control C and then come down here and paste it using control V. And then we have one more column to get for CRM and that's this column here. So I'm just going to highlight it, copy using control C. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the right columns, which are P ratio, current price and earnings per share, which is good. All right, come back down here, paste the value. Now I'm expecting the result to tell me that CRM is fair or overvalued. All right, so let's go ahead and run this prediction. And indeed we get back fair or overvalued. Okay. Now, of course, it could have it could have trained on this data, so it may know it already to be true, but that's basically how you would use this model. So that's pretty cool. That is the end of this video. I hope it was helpful and entertaining to you all. Please remember this is just a simple model and models are not perfect and it's just a fun project and make sure to do more research on your own before making any sort of investment. Thank you for watching this video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or just get the code or get the data set, then I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.